Yeah, I'm still freaking here. Still freaking here. A lot of you probably are thinking, but Chad, I saw you somewhere else in a different video. I thought you escaped the castle. I did, but that was a Chad in a different timeline. That's a Chad in a parallel universe, not this one. So hey, look at this. I have my own marketable plushie. You have a marketable plushie? Since when? Starting today. Wait a minute. We're in a castle. In the middle of nowhere. Where did you even get that? Pre-order a Wraps the Mummy plush. Available only for a limited time. And once the pre-order window is over, it's gone for good. You won't find a more cursed plush than this one, folks. Click the link in the description and get your very own Cursed Wraps plush today. So things for Chad weren't going well. He thought he'd read a good luck spell, but he misread and then he fell under a curse. to a creepy castle, forced to watch Christian meshes till the end of time. Now they may be cursed, but they're not the worst. They're often kind of funny. You can watch them first and then converse with no fraud. Welcome to another episode of Curse Commercials. I'm your host, Chad Tronic. This is the show where we watch and rate out of 10 how cursed each commercial is that we watch. On with the show. Fancy some Wolves micro sausages. Wolves? All right. Great. It's a good job it only takes ah, 60 seconds. Come on, ah. 40 seconds. Ah. Oh, I'll call you. Wall's micro sausages sizzling in 60 seconds. That girl is way too unconcerned with what is going on. <laughs> you got this killer dog that for whatever reason wants to like, I don't know, hurt this guy or something. Do you guys really want to heat up these sausages at home if it's going to make your dog or pet behave in this way? I wouldn't want to purchase this. Also, everything was pretty semi-believable up until like the towel whipping? <laughs> that was pretty weird. Uh, that earns at least a seven. Konami has two very cool Tiny Toon Adventures games for Sega Genesis and Super NES. The animation gives you a real cartoon feel. On Super NES, play Buster Bust Loose, Spin Kick, and Mad Dad. Somebody watching this video is going to rewatch this part. They're going to be... Someone's going to be into this. Sound great. On Sega Genesis, play Buster's Hidden Treasure, an island adventure to find the fortune before Montana Max. Play a tune on Sega Genesis or Super NES. What are you looking at? Get your own games. Oh my god, they had to do the tail. They had to do the tail. Listen, I love me some tiny tunes, but that was a little weird. That was definitely cursed. Mildly cursed. Wonder if we can pause that somewhere in between the transformation where we can get it to look kind of weird. That's a five. Oh my hot sauce, oh my hot sauce, oh my hot sauce, vinegaroon. <laughs> the freaking vinegaroon hot sauce commercials. Wait, what the heck? Gilf granny for vinegar? What? 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 All right, I thought the axe in the head of the grandma was weird enough. This is getting weirder and weirder every second I look at what's happening on the screen. Vinegaroon hot sauce is taking advantage of VTuber technology. This is very concerning. That's a nine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Miður er engin innleikn. Þú getur alltaf bjargað með því að hringja kollekt. Halló. Það er síminn. I don't understand. How did that even just happen? One minute, uh, he's a full-size man, and then the next he's, what, the size of a mouse that can just be swallowed by a cat? I don't understand. Also, after re-watching this a couple times, there appears to be some type of, like, editing or special effects mistake. The cat eats the guy and then spits the guy out, but then the next cut is the guy sliding into the belly of the cat? That doesn't make any sense. I really like this, like, side perspective, like, <laughs> diagram-looking view we get of the guy inside of his cat. That's pretty neat. You gotta buy this phone, because that's for some reason what this is advertising. That's a seven. It's the longest, stretchiest, fruity snack around, around, around. Strawberry Fruit Winders from Kellogg's in three fruity flavors. Kellogg's Real Fruit Winders and wind the fruity fun forever. For the first several seconds of this, I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> the context is, what's the context? It's like strawberry characters being cemented to a landing strip uh, by an anthropomorphic food character. Why are only some of the characters anthropomorphic and then other characters aren't? I just have, I have so many questions. Are Kellogg's fruit winders even still a thing? I, I don't think I've ever even heard of this until right now. That's an eight. <laughs> if I just started this commercial without showing the man's face. Would that have been more cursed? Probably. <laughs> what? That's a McDonald's coffee ad. Is that real or was that a custom edit? There's no way. How? That doesn't even make any sense. Is the context supposed to be like, you need to wake up and come get McDonald's coffee because your dreams are really weird, and you need to get away from that. I, <laughs> what the heck? That's a 10. That's just, that made no sense to me. It's confusion made it just that much more cursed, in, in my opinion. That's a 10. Tired of stressing yourself and your pet by screaming and yelling? Get down! No! Bad dog! Sick of using ineffective and expensive training methods that just don't work. <laughs> I love the shot of that dog. They hold this chain up and the dog's just like, Aru? <laughs> Why beg them to stop and sit when you can make them quickly quit with Quit It, the all-natural way to correct and train any pet's bad behavior guaranteed. What? Does this actually work? I feel like there's no way this could actually work. Just a little bottle that goes, that's supposed to fully discipline your pet. I'm not... I'm not buying it. Look, just like snakes that hiss when there's danger, Quit It emits the same hissing sound, triggering an alarm within your pet that makes them instantly stop and pay attention. I want to say it doesn't work, but it's like clearly working on the pets in this commercial, or are they just like, is this like trained pets quote acting? Like, is this, is this, is this actually work? I almost wonder if what they're actually doing to make the pet stop what they're doing while filming is like using like an air horn or something very loud to freak them out because like clearly the audio that they showed during these clips is not from what's actually being filmed. So that's, is it the actual, are they responding to the actual product or is there some, is there some clever production tricks happening here? I'm not sure. I don't know what else to really say about this. Is it a cursed commercial? Not really. Am I skeptical? Absolutely. I would give that, I guess in this case, like a two. It's peeing pot! 
Next on the show, have we got a treat for you. Peeing Pup is the adorable game where you get a pup to pet, but you might get wet. Get in a circle and pet the puppy as he plays music, but don't pet him for too long. If he thinks you're number one, he'll go number one. So what are you waiting for? We all pee when we get excited. I know I do. Huh? Adult assembly required. Batteries not included. I don't understand. Is it supposed to be like a hot potato thing? You mess with it until it pees on you, or then until then you hand it off to your friends and watch it happen to them? I, I don't understand it. Doesn't seem like it's not being advertised like a game. It's just like this is something that's funny, right? Buy this. <laughs> that's that's the vibe I'm getting. That's like a four. Oh, I've picked something up, John. Let's look at it, Ralph. Hey, that's the catatonic yeah. kick of real oranges accosting the back of his throat. Oh, Tony! What is that? No idea, Ralph. But it's definitely not Wee Willy Winky. Morning. Blast my tango taste box, Tony! <laughs> what? What is happening? Like, this is so confusing, but it is very entertaining, whatever is happening. It's freaking like crazy Oompa Loompa looking freaking character. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, Ralph. I'd be upset too if a man come up to me with his kilt flying. Spanking. You know when you've been tangoed. Very scary looking character. It's like, like Mr. Freeze had a child with an Oompa Loompa. If this is something that happens to you when you buy this beverage. This did a great job of never making me want to buy it. That's an eight. Yeah! Undgå brølere. Råd og død byggecenter. Vi kan spare dig for meget. Når du gør det selv. <laughs> what the heck? That is, that is very terrifying. No idea what this is advertising. Wow, that's like... I'm gonna like mentally pretend that that was for like a new horror game coming out because I would play that. That that looks like it would be a good game. Game would be called something like Beware of the Stairs Teeth. <laughs> I'm giving that a nine. It deserves it. That was freaking weird. Oh my god, another YouTube video that's just like Minecraft in real life? Or maybe this is like a trailer for Minecraft 2. Finally. Oh, it's a car commercial. That makes sense. That super makes sense. Why? What else would it be? A car commercial? That make that makes sense. Once again, we've bent the rules. The all-new Civic Coupe from Honda. That's pretty cursed. Ah, that's like a six. Nuevo jabón nórdico, una explosión de frescura. Reacciona con nórdico, un golpe de frescura que limpia tu piel dejando una sensación de frescura. Jabón de uso diario nórdico, un golpe de frescura. Bath soap, so good. A Viking will come and spank you. Is that what just happened? That's a five. You can't put this. It's fun time at Fenway Golf in East Longmeadow. Take a right through the mini course, then a left through the greens. There's action on the driving range. Whoa, you see what I mean? You do a parody of a song, make up a clever pun, have a terrible looking CGI Cartoon character, and you've got you've got a solid, solid business advertisement. Activities all in one place. Fenway Golf in East Longmeadow. It's Fenway fun. You can't put this. However, if I visit this mini golf course, and a little magical golf ball comes out and and doesn't flick my ball into the hole, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be very upset. That's a five. No hay duda, nipear ya es una realidad. Si quieres nipear con tu celular, tú debes marcar. Ti, ti, ta, ta, turi, ura. Ingresa tu nip y ya está. ¿Qué esperas?
esperas? Acércate a tu banco, solicita tu NIP y empieza a nipear. ¿Nipper? I was like, man, this commercial is pretty weird, but I mean, it's like, yeah, it's not like that weird. And then nipper happened. Okay, that's that's the cherry on top. That's, I mean, now, you, now it's officially cursed. Not that it wasn't, you know, very cursed before. It was. Like, what is this? I don't, like, what? Is this supposed to be, like, anime? Or is this, like, supposed to be, like, I don't know what this is trying to be. Nipper earns a seven. That's, that's a seven for sure. Are you suffering from pungent pits? Foul feet? Beastly butt odor? How do you stop the stink? <laughs> what the frick? Man, if you guys smelled so bad that, like, literal green glowing fumes came off of you, hate it when that happens. Hi, I'm Adam J, and this is Doc Bottoms A Spray, the all new, all over deodorant that prevents odors before they start and can be used anywhere, and I mean anywhere on your body. A spray goes where other deodorants can. So, this is like an odor eliminator spray, but it's supposed to like prevent bad smells, which is weird. This is tough to buy into because if I spray this somewhere in my body and I later don't smell, is it because of the spray or is it just because I wasn't gonna smell? Anyway, this is a, this is a tough sell for me. A spray your butt, a spray your feet, a spray under your arms. You can even a spray your privates. A spray is safe for all your odor zones. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. I think people could have come to that conclusion on their own. I don't think you needed to. I don't think you needed to say that part. A spray is 100% natural, chemical free, fragrance free, and offers 24 hour protection. Plus, it's made in the USA. Our revolutionary formula safely protects you against embarrassing body odors by neutralizing odor-causing bacteria. It's that simple. No bacteria, no stink. Why do I have a feeling this is just like literally a tiny bottle of water? It's 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 chemical free, fragrance free. All these things it's cuz it's just water. I don't know anything about this by the way. These are just my This is my Extreme skepticism coming out. Ordinary deodorants mask odors and can only be used on armpits and feet. A spray can be used all over your body. How they keep demonstrating the use for this is just, that's what's so cursed about this. Like we don't, we don't need to see all these people spraying themselves in uncomfortable ways to watch. We don't, it doesn't, that does not need to be in the advertisement. We, we understand the purpose of the product. <laughs> it's like, look guys, you can spray your butt. More specifically, you can spray your butt right in the crack, right here. Look, I will demonstrate to you right now on camera in case you do not understand. And literally stops odors before they start. You can also use a spray on smelly shoes and clothes, even on a steamy seat. You could spend a stinking fortune on all these different deodorants and never get the Odozone coverage that this one bottle of a spray gives you. I work hard for a living, I sweat a lot, and I got, I got odors in special places. And with a spray, I don't have to worry about that anymore. My butt, my butt. <laughs> wow, dude. They really want you to buy this and spray it on your bum. They really want you to do that with this. That's the full size A spray and the pocket shot for just $14.99. But wait, if you order right now, and I mean this second, put down the potato chips, go get your phone, I'll wow. double your order. That's right, right now. If you call right now, put down the potato chips, I'll give you two. Bottles of water. That was great. I'm giving that one, I'm just giving it that one a 10, just because I enjoyed watching it so much. That's a 10. Well, that's gonna conclude this episode of Kurt Reps. Have you been coddling that thing this entire time? Yeah. <laughs>